So right now we have a correct substitution function for let expressions, but it's also an expensive one. So here's an example to show why it's expensive. If we have let x equal 1, let y equals 2, and then some big expression down below, we end up doing a lot of work. So first we take that x and we walk over the whole expression inside to finally substitute in x for 1. And then we look at the y binding, we walk over the whole expression again and substitute 2 for y. So we're doing these two traversals over a big expression. And if we have n variables, we're now taking n squared time. So this is a high cost to substituting in. It would be better to remove that cost, and we can do that by basically not doing the work of substitution. So instead of substituting eagerly, we're going to do it lazily. So this bubble here at the top right, this is our lazy bubble. Instead of putting in bindings right away, we're going to remember them inside the bubble and then go forward. So when we see let x equal 1, we don't traverse the expression. We instead save that inside of our bubble. Then when we have y equals 2, we also save that inside of the bubble. Then when we get on to interpreting the addition, when we finally come to the y symbol, we look up at our bubble. We see, oh, OK, we want to substitute in the value 2 for y, so give me a 2 right here. And this way, we saved a lot of time by keeping around this extra data structure. One thing to note is what if we have the same identifier twice? So here, let x equal 1, that goes into our bubble. And then let x equal 2, that also goes into our bubble. So if this thing is really implemented as a bubble, and it's a set of bindings, then there can be some confusion. So we need to have more structure than just a plain set. And the right thing to do here is to keep a list. So our bubble is going to implement it as a list of expressions. When we add a new binding, we add that to the front of the list. And then when we go to look up a binding, we also look from front to back. So in this case, we would look up x equals 2. That's the first thing that we encounter. So we stop with that. Always add it at the start. Always check from the start.